The Sarde. I've always hoped to one day find out my biological family name. But I cannot go to the harbor office in person to see my file. Could you go there and bring the file to me? Of course. But you'll have to come with me to the port and tell me a little more. Right. Also, I don't want any knots to be hurt in the process. Despite my desire to know my origins, the knots are still my family. Don't worry. We'll be discreet. Here we are. We have a good view from here. The harbour office is well guarded, both outside and inside. Getting through the main entrance is impossible. There must be a blind spot. There's always one. You could dress as a knot and go through the back door, but someone may recognize you inside. I'll need to be much more discreet. A potion could help me. That is an option, yes, but since I'd rather avoid hurting any knots, I made some inquiries. The harbour office has an arrangement with Dieter from the brothel. Girls come every night with wine. I see. You want us to spike the wine so that they sleep during our search? It's a proven technique. And I can assure you, they do not sniff the wine before drinking it. Right. Let's get a sleeping potion. Then we'll go see Dita. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you...
Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Yes, why? You looking to have a good time? It seems like you're sending girls and wine to the harbour office every night. So? There's no law against that, is there? No, and I'm not here to stop you. Listen, Dieter, we just wanted to add a secret ingredient to your wine tonight. What? Are you joking? Are you trying to slip a laxative in it? We were thinking more of sleeping pills. Nothing bad, you see. Listen, I have nothing against a little prank, but I can't risk losing my best customers. Captain Vasco is very influential among the Nords. Maybe he could help expand your excellent clientele even further. If you accept, I could arrange for your agreement to come to fruition. In San Mateus, for example. After such a blow, I may well win a deal in San Mateus, but I'm pretty sure I'll lose the one I already have. You will have to find another way to perform your little joke. Sorry. It looks like my plan has fallen apart. I'll have to be discreet. You should dress like a knot, and maybe take a haze potion. Yes, good idea. Yes, why? You looking to have a good About the joke we told you about. Do not insist. It's pitch black. It's the perfect moment. What do you want to do? I'm ready. We just have to wait for nightfall. All right, it's dark enough. It's time to move. 
I'll wait here as planned. I can't risk getting caught there. Don't worry. I'll make sure not to hurt anyone. Good luck, Disardi. I was able to recover your file, Vasco. And nobody saw me. Wonderful. You did everything perfectly. So, let's see what this file can tell us. So I was right. My real name is Leandra, son of the Darcy family from Serene. Nobles, I suppose. Yes. I must admit that I had no idea they had given a son to the Noughts. To think that I spent my childhood polishing ship bridges when I could have been wearing silk. I'm sorry for you, Vasco. But growing up in nobility is not as simple as it sounds. Really? Well, whatever. I've learnt my real name thanks to you, and that's what I wanted. Leandra Darcy. I remember coming across a Darcy at my uncle's court. Your brother, no doubt. My brother? What was he like? It was a long time ago. We were children. I couldn't tell you what he looks like today. A brother? I wonder if we are alike despite our completely different lives. Thank you for sharing this and for telling me about him. You gave me back my identity. This is more important than the Noughts care to admit. <laughs> <laughs> 